crazy in love, drunk in love. Am I just listening songs by Beyonce? Possibly. But we do know that love can make us do the darndest things. But why? Is it possible that love leaves a mark on the brain? Dopamine has a long-standing association with pleasure as part of the brain's reward system. Some argue that it signals desire, others that it helps predict reward controlling behaviour, and for some it's a little bit of both. But with the help of some cute little rodents, surprisingly cute little rodents, known as prairie voles, we are closer to understanding the neurobiology of love. Neuroscientists at University of Colorado use these voles to investigate the role of dopamine in forming intimate relationships because unusually for mammals, these voles are used to shacking up and settling down with one vole for the rest of their life. And they also coordinate their behavior once a bond has been formed. The voles have to put in work to see their partner by either pressing a lever or climbing over a fence. And whilst neuroimaging technology was detecting the release of dopamine in their brain. Each time a spurt of dopamine was released, the sensor would light up, and this was seen a lot when the voles were reunited with their partners. In contrast, the sensor actually dimmed when there was a random vole on the other side, and also researchers saw that there was less effort made to climb the fence or to press a lever if they didn't recognise the vole on the other side. So it seems our loved ones essentially leave a chemical imprint on our brains which helps us maintain this bond over time, and dopamine may play a significant role in keeping this love alive you know, stoking the fire of desire. And this also explains why we want to be with some people more than others. When the voles were kept apart for a month, which is an eternity in the life of a rodent, and later reunited, they recognised each other, but their signature dopamine set had basically almost vanished. And researchers believe this sort of reset allows the animal to go on and potentially form a new bond. So there is hope for you heartbroken lovers out there, as this suggests that the brain actually has an inherent mechanism that helps protect us from endless unrequited love. Now obviously, their rodents were humans, so more research is needed to actually determine how this behaviour translates to us. But for now, I think science has confirmed it, love does leave a mark on the brain. Must be love on the brain. That's Rihanna, not Beyonce.